We are standing on the site of the old agency shipyard, which operated for many years during our all kinds of vessels. All times. Even before the jig started, boats were being built in this community. Well over two centuries ago, and the IMA was one of them. When Jake started building boats, the Western Waterfront Center, conceptual plan was put together to lay out a strategy for developing the area in completed in 1995. And one of the things envisioned was a working boat building restoration exhibit and shop. Christine Corporation has taken on the mission. Our goal is to preserve the traditions of wooden boat building in Ocean Bay, Long Island. To produce useful vessels like Christine that are of historic importance to the community. So through volunteer programs, we give the people up to take part in the traditional boat building projects. To enhance people's enjoyment and their experience of visiting the waterfront center and our beautiful bay. Building, building the Ida Bay is our second major project, as you can see, it's well on the way. Now to lead us through the program today would be one of our board members, Bill Quinn. Bill?
Many of you also volunteer your time to crew on the Christine and help with commissioning, decommissioning, and the regular maintenance of her. Thanks to your handiwork, even the replacing of her keto last year, the Christine has taken about 20,000 people out onto the bay for marine education, maritime history, public tours, and private charters. Think about it, that's between 180 and 200 trips, 200 trips per year, per season, excuse me. Uh, between 3,000 and 3,500 people each year. After the replica of the IMA is completed, the Waterfront Center will use her to expand our reach in educating people of all ages so they can become stewards of the marine environment. The IMA will carry almost double the class size that can fit on the Christine. Her wide open decks will give, her, give us opportunities for some different program offerings. For education programs, topics of study will include local maritime history, bivalve farming, estuary, wildlife observance, plankton studies, and navigation. She will take people out of the bay for fishing, but much easier with no boom and rigging overhead, such as the Christine has. She will also be available for corporate chartering, public tours, and possibly catered dinner cruises. Just like the wonderful and much painted silhouette that Christine provides to the shoreline residents and beachgoers, the IMA will be a welcome sight. She will represent the original power of the Harvesting Vessel that worked for over 80 years in our harbor. The Waterfront Center looks forward to commission the new IMA to a career of education and recreation for the public. Thank you all for coming to witness the Kilo the heart and soul of the vessel. Senator Marcelino has encouraged us from the start of the project and has 
and the other. There was nothing going to be behind the scenes. There was absolutely nothing going to be done without public approval. I was given a free hand, uh, and I was told I could do what I pleased. I think that was a mistake on their part, but anyway, uh, you never give me a free hand totally. But I could look over here, and I could see the art, and I could see the potential. And one thing that the patient saying I wish to make, Teddy Roosevelt, was to dream about, was waking up the harbor and opening it up for public access. He always felt that there was not enough public access to this beautiful harbor, and that he wanted to do that. And one of the things that was in his way all those years was the fact that a lot of it was privately owned, and this was a commercial entity, which could not be touched. We had the opportunity, and the public made their decision, but they wanted it open. So we set up and we created a public-private partnership. We joined the state of New York, who is a part owner of the site, with the town of Oyster Bay, which is a part owner of the site, and the community, so that they would have access to make the decisions as to what was going to be happening to the site over the years. If I could be proud of anything I have done, in office over these past 17 plus years. This is it. This, I think, is the best thing that I've ever done. In helping to guide and helping to make sure that this remained open and accessible to the people of this area.
Yeah. Uh-huh.